<laughs> Hi everyone, so today is an incredible day for the 25, uh, 125 years jubilee of Victorinox. They launch um, a replica of 1897 uh, first soldier knife and so I'm doing today an unboxing. So here it goes, There's a, it comes with a white box to protect the actual package package and uh, here it is it's quite hefty uh, a big box not like uh, the usual uh, limited editions it's they really did an effort this time uh, there's even a little fold and so you have on this size, uh, the, on this side, um, 1897 and 2022, and you open it like that, like that. Here you have a little description of um, what Carl Elsner, the founder of Victorinox, he left a little message, a note to inform everyone about his uh, recent project of making this knife. And then here there's a timeline. Oh. And you open it this way. Here you go. And they said they wanted to make a time capsule to represent the years that went before. Uh, the creation of the replica and the original knife and so let's open it Tada! <laughs> <laughs> I have the impression I'm going to mess everything but hey, it's all right <laughs> it's such a beautiful piece of knife and uh, yes, you've got this little pouch. It seems to be made out of a, a fabric, like a cotton fabric. And here's the knife. Let's make maybe a little close-up. The tools are really the original tools, so it's not like the usual corkscrew. The corkscrew seems to be more like um, a screw, actually, as you can see. If we, if we can compare... Just a second. <laughs> just to compare with another corkscrew as you can see uh, it really looks like a screw and uh, this one is more um, of a cylinder it's uh, it's hollow inside and uh, this one isn't so they chose to change the corkscrew uh, with the years because sometimes while opening a bottle it uh, used to break inside the bottle or not achieve its purpose and so I'm gonna open all the tools so you've got the remote punch which is quite different from the other one uh, oh well but the Forester doesn't have one so I cannot show you anyway uh, it's the old one so it doesn't have the hole in the middle uh, we've got the old corkscrew on the other side a main blade which I'm gonna close to not cut myself um, and this on the other knife it um, it's used also to open bottles uh, a bottle opener but on this one there's not the option of the bottle opener there's just uh, the screw driver a flat one to open screws and uh, it's written, I don't know if you can uh, see. C'est dans le sens là. Mm -hmm. So it's written in German, Gesetzlich geschützt. 
which means that it's a protected knife. You know, it's like the uh, let's say that copy. It's a copyright. A uh, copyright. And the old style, old fashioned style uh, can opener. And thus, what we are going to do is to use these old tools. It seems to me uh, to be a bit of a drama to, to use this knife because it's so expensive and it's more uh, of a collectible. But I really wanted to try and show you how to open cans with this old style can opener. So for the video purposes, I'm going to close that back up because I'm sure I'm going to make a mess because unlike the other can openers you don't use it from the top but this one you are supposed to use it from the side and punch it and open it so let's try I'm gonna make a mess because it's ananas uh, pineapple <laughs> in English it's pineapple actually so go <laughs> I'm afraid I'm, I'm gonna hurt myself <laughs> it's super okay. super hard you know Victorinox made a, a video showing how to use it but I can't seem to understand how to do it. But it's not practical because it gets back to its position. How did she manage to do that? Maybe this way? <laughs> it seems impossible. I'm going to cut myself. No, really, it's impossible. Maybe if I'm forcing and doing a whole <laughs> on her video, it seems so easy. But it's not. I, I can assure you, it's really not easy. Damn! Do you want to try, Matthias? So he said, what is, what is weird, it, it's that it's closing on, on us when you use it. I don't know. You can have a good look, but as you can see, it. Uh... Mm. Ah, t'arrives là? Ah ouais, mais deux spies, faut. Ah, ah. ah you, you okay. really have to put a lot of pressure. Attends, comment je viens de faire? I don't know how you did it. Mais. Ok. <laughs> ok, tu vois? Ah. Ok, et maintenant Tu vois, ça en fait, c'est pour tenir là. Ah, ok, so, actually, the little uh, end, the, the tip of the, the can opener is, is supposed to go on top as a support. And then uh, the other side is supposed to cut. So it's really hard. Did you manage, uh, he managed to make a hole. Ah, voilà <laughs> Ah voilà Tu vois Ah ça c'est pour venir t'aider en fait tu vois Ah so you put it on the, the edge of the, the can and then Mais it helps galère, you hein. but it's really hard yeah It's galère <laughs> Ok Alright Ah oh, no but uh, now you, you do it Non fine. maintenant une fois que Once once you punch ouais. and you you achieve to make a hole Par contre faut faire gaffe parce que là c'est easier easy because it's, yeah it cuts really well Yeah, it's, it's really ultra dangerous. Trop it's really dangerous. So be careful when you are opening the can. <laughs> nice. Well, let's put it on the floor. Yay! Well, yeah, now you can open it. Some <laughs> minutes. 5 minutes pour ouvrir une canette. Yay! Now we can eat pineapple. Wow. All right. And then um, we are also going to try 
to open, a bo a open a wine. nice bottle of wine. So now that we finished with the can opener, I'm gonna review the corkscrew. And I took uh, some quite nice wine. It's a German wine, a Gewurztraminer. And uh, it's a sweet wine, I don't know, maybe you, you know that wine. So, using the classic methods. Well, maybe, maybe it's better to use the small blade to remove the, the cap. First step done, then. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it really from the middle. All right. It seems to work. And then what you have to do is remove. Got to be a strong woman to do that. I, I am afraid to break everything. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Damn. Oh yes, it's working. <laughs> Why is life so hard? Oui, 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 oui. Mais t'as fini? Oui, je okay. crois. Oh putain, t'as réussi Ouais, t'as eu le temps de filmer Oui. Ou je le remets dedans Non, non, c'est bon, j'ai réussi, je crois. Puis maintenant, tu peux... Nice All right. And the bottle cap didn't break. So maybe we were lucky, because uh, Victorinox says that uh, most, well, sometimes it used to break with this uh, corkscrew. So well. Now I'm with the, my friends and we are going to enjoy. And don't forget to, to like the video. And yeah. <laughs> and oh, also I wanted to show you the incredible view that we have from Lausanne's Cathedral. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. And so don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye. Thanks.